Hello there guys and welcome back to the UCL Posh Foundation Challenge and here we are at the end of our third season in charge, I believe. Let's have a quick quick look. That's not how I check. How do I how do I check? Uh uh. Third season. I, it's our third season. It's our third season. Um all right, here we go, job history. Wait, was that season four? I am. I have completely lost track of how far into this save we are. Wow, that was season four. Very uneventful season. Um, I thought I'd make a quick video. It won't be as long as the other ones usually are, but a quick video trying to condense what happened in our fourth season of Peterborough. As you can see, it wasn't nowhere near as good uh, as seasons prior. We'll start off with our competitions. How do we do in the league? Well, not great. We ended up finished 12th in the league. 65 points from 46 games and 19 wins, uh, 8 draws and 19 losses. Let's get the full table up here. Uh, we scored 70, conceded 60, finished with a plus 10 goal difference. So not, not too bad in the end. Um, but we struggled with our form. We look at the past positions. Here is how our season went. Started off pretty well, um, with all things considered. Then we dropped off massively. We went from here. Where were we? Fifth. We dropped from fifth all the way down. And eventually our lowest was 14th. And we remained there. However, we, we did begin to pick up um, points in sort of like the last five or six games. Here's how our form looked. As you can see, started off pretty decently. A couple of losses in there, but mainly wins and draws. Then we just went on a horrible spell. Absolute horrible spell. All through here. But then, like I said, we finished off the season strong. Unfortunately, it was just a little bit too late uh, to rectify our earlier mistakes. We experimented with different formations. We'll get to that. We're just carrying the competitions. FA Cup, we got knocked out in the third round by Southampton. And the Carabao Cup, a, a dismal showing. Mistake on my half, we got knocked out by Sheffield Wednesday in the first round. We'll be looking to do a lot better next season. Um, we have to. We have to. Tactic-wise, um, this is what we ended up with. Our 4 2 3 one. Um, yeah, we experimented with a couple over the season. We tried. We were mainly using the four-two-four, which we had a lot of success with over the last couple of seasons. Of course, making the playoffs two times in a row. For whatever reason, that changed. Um, I think. I think maybe we relied hev too heavily on some of the sort of younger mid-tier players. Got rid of the experienced players, and we just collapsed. Couldn't finish games, see them out. Squad wise, uh, where's my view? Bring that up here. We look at the average rating this season. Ibrahim Cargbo, our player of the season, um, striker from Sierra Leone. He was awesome. Awesome. Scored 27 goals in 43 games. 43 games something like that and that's so it's glitch now oh so annoying it keeps doing that so annoying um yeah very very good all-round player and sort of carried our front line when you know vicky j jones went off the boil a few times <laughs> speaking of vicky j jones we have uh already extended his contract for another season i don't know why leicester have signed him to be honest but there we go. Um, Dimitri Cornes, 7.14. Do you know what? He did not do too bad. He will be one that we really look to push this coming season. Already, his value is pretty decent. He's wanted by Doncaster, Morecambe and Swindon on loan. Not really attracting the bigger clubs just yet. Maybe, maybe this coming season will be his time to push on. Um, and he's one we could potentially sell for a bit of money. Uh, Billy Cometio did really well. He's another one. I think we have extended his loan. 
until next year. Yes, we have. We've extended his loan by another season. He'll be joining us again. The centre-back from Newcastle had a very good season. 7.13 rating. Leif Davis, Danny McNamara, Augustus Roldan. Expect him to feature a little bit more next season. Again, another youngster that we brought in. Uh, Liam Henderson continued to impress. Ricky J. Jones. Um, Niall Mas- M- uh, Masatow. Now, this is one that I would like to keep. Unfortunately, they're asking for a lot to extend his loan. Um, they're asking for a monthly fee of nearly 100k. I don't know. I, do we do it? I mean, we've got the money to do it. No, we're gonna we're gonna suggest it. Oh, we've got a mandatory future fee. I didn't see that. Mandatory future fee. We can't pay that. We ain't got three point five million. Sorry. Um. Other than that, no one of any real importance. Now. We've got to start planning for the next season. <laughs> I have actually got the old pen and paper. We've got our starting 11. I've got areas that I want to try and improve. And we're going to be looking for a centre back, a striker, a left winger, a cam, and a left back. Um, centre back and striker, mainly pretty decent ones. The left wing, cam, and left back, just some backup options. We have got some young players coming through. I'm going to try and give them a little bit more. Of a chance this coming season, and then we're going to try and utilize the loans loan system, really bring in a couple of quality players, hopefully from the Premier League or abroad, just to bulk out that squad just a little bit. Um, I really want to push for the playoffs next season. <clears throat> uh, Bournemouth won, West Ham and Watford have also gone up to the Premier League, coming down and joining us. Um, Familiar foes, Sheffield United, Brentford and Blackburn all coming back down. As you can see there, Manchester City won the league. Uh, I can quickly run through, you know, the leagues elsewhere. I think it was pretty standard. Barca won La Liga, Inter won uh, Syria. I believe Bayern Munich won La Liga. Uh, La Liga, sorry. Bundesliga. Yep, Bayern won. By quite a margin. Um, I've got a feeling PSG won League uh, League uh. Uh, They did. That was quite close, to be fair. Um, and let's have a quick look. I don't actually know who won the Champions League. Liverpool. Ah, interesting. They beat Barcelona on penalties. And they've won the Champions League three times in the last... Three out of four times in the last four years. Four times in the last six years. That's pretty decent. Europa League. Everton. Oh, that's a surprise. Who won Euro 2? Does anyone, does anyone even care? Spurs. I mean, this is just the Spurs trophy. Let's face it. Um... Yeah. Yeah. Not really got anyone on our transfer list so far. We've already had a couple of offers for Chapman and Brill that we have accepted. Um we had an offer coming for Danny McNamara, but he's not one I want to sell. I'm I'm expecting offers for some of these players. Um Dembele. Now Dembele's one I might actually let go. Should we get a suitable offer? We may let Dembele go. Uh, I feel like we need to sell. It's a shame Frankie Kent is injured. Otherwise, I probably would be trying to shift him on. He's got a good, uh, good value for his age. Um, unfortunately, he is out for another three or four months. So there's no chance of that. I have transfer listed. Um, Burrows. We're looking to move on Burrows. Looking to move on... Uh, who asked? No, oh, Carnu. We've we've listed Carnu. We have listed Osu. We've listed Chapman. Uh, I think that's it. Burrows, and then we'll be losing Loder, Roberts, and Masatau as they return to their clubs. Roberts again. They wanted. I think they want a fee. 
Do they want a, a mandatory future fee? Oh, they don't. But they want 10 grand. They want 10 grand for his wages. <sighs> I mean, it's an option. And he didn't do that bad. Do I just get Hayden Roberts in? I'm not sure. That's what we're going to think about. Um, but that, that is pretty much it in a nutshell. That was our season. Season 4 complete as we look towards the season, the fifth season. Um, and my target, my target of winning the Champions League within 12 seasons is looking less and less likely. How long this will go on for, I don't know. But we are going to continue until we are sacked or until we win the Champions League. Um, I've got a good feeling. I, I, we, we, I think we're really going to try and make some good signings in this summer. I'm going to try and blast through it tonight so that I can bring you sort of a summer transfer window update as well as start the season. Um, yeah, lots of exciting things. On another note, I've got a new series starting. It may start tomorrow. Not 100% sure yet. But we have got a brand new series coming out. It's going to be a short-term save. And there may be a few of them coming up. Uh, this is very much our only long-term save at the moment. Um, but I will have a second series starting this week, possibly tomorrow. Maybe not, but starting this week. And it is a short-term save. So keep an eye out for that. And um, as always, thanks for watching. And I'll catch you at the end of the summer. Have a good holiday.